So this is gonna be a difficult video to make. I lost a lot of money trading this week. I basically got short squeezed and um, I lost an entire week's of profit all in one trade. So the recent sector sympathy with all these coronavirus sympathy stocks has been a great opportunity for both long and short for day trading. At times like these, like we've seen with the last few sector hype, like the shippers, the blockchain, and same thing with the cannabis stocks, we see this is where we see a lot of big wins and also the big losses. Because the long traders are banking on the fact that the short sellers are getting squeezed on the way up. And while the short sellers are banking on the fact that the long traders are panic selling on the way down. But maybe we hear a lot about the losses in comparison to the wins. So that's why I want to make this video in order to reflect on my loss, which would help me a lot as a trader. But at the same time, I'm hoping that this could help some of you as well. So the ticker that got me was CODX and I was short intraday on Thursday. The overall trading plan and the thesis was not the problem. The problem for me was the ads. I added too aggressively and I outstayed my welcome and I didn't cover fast enough on the way down. And this is why sometimes it's actually a blessing to not have any short locates available, right? Because technically if you were long, you have limited downside. The most you could lose is 100% of your exposure. However, if you were short, you are risk is uh, technically infinite. And of course, there are times to go long and times to go short, especially in a crazy sector hype such as this one. The key is to identify the front side and the back side of the entire move. But of course, it's easy to say that after the fact, right? Hindsight is 2020. Nobody loses in hindsight. But it's definitely important for me to reflect on this loss. I definitely pushed a little bit beyond my comfort zone um, when I was shorting CO DX early in the morning. I'm actually predominantly a long trader, meaning I make more money and I'm more confident dip buying stocks for it to go up higher, either intraday or swing overnight. Yes, I do short and I short often because like I talked about many times before, it's important to know both sides of the trade and understand how they work psychologically because you want to take advantage of the other side when they are in pain. While I do go both long and short, when I'm short my sizing is generally less than my long trades. But when I was shorting CODX early on, my sizing was the same as if I was long. So that's where I got into trouble. I go through my trades at the end of the day in all my recap videos because it's important for me to reflect on what I did well on and what I could improve. There's definitely things to learn from both wins and losses. And it's these kind of reflection that allows me to stay disciplined and grounded. And that is especially important during a week where I was doing pretty well from Monday to Wednesday. And on Thursday, I just gave everything back all in one trade. All of that hard-earned money through trading just gone like that. And going through that, it's extremely difficult to handle emotionally. But it's exactly at an emotional situation like this that we traders need a solid structure and rule to fall back on in order to stay grounded. Because it's that discipline that's gonna keep you and I away from emotional trading, revenge trading, where we go back to the same ticker and flip in long or short in order to try to make back the big loss. And that's what we call trading on tilt, where you lose all sense of control and you're just buying and selling in a state of panic. And that's why a lot of times when a trader takes a loss, they go on a losing streak, where that can lead to the entire account blowing up. Because they are trading emotionally just to make the money back. Instead of trading the chart, their own setups, and sticking to the discipline. And by no means am I saying it's easy to keep that composure and stay disciplined especially after a big loss. And for me, yes, I took a fat loss. It's not easy, it sucks, but at the end of the day, it's manageable. But the last thing I want is for that manageable loss to lead to bigger losses the next trade on the same day or the next day and eventually lead to blowing up. So that's why part of how I recover from a loss like this is I size down right away if I'm still trading or I'll take the rest of the day off and sometimes the next few days off from trading. The 
whole point of sizing down is so I can mentally allow myself to trade well, trading my own setups, my own rules, and following my discipline instead of trading my PL. So that's the silver lining out of the CODX loss. Is that yes, I took a loss and stopped out following my own rules. And even after the loss, I still stayed disciplined and cut my size like I said I would. And I still focus on trading the charts with smaller size on CODX and other related tickers such as Lake and NMVC. But of course, the subsequent wins are a lot smaller in comparison to the CODX loss. But the point here isn't to make back the loss, right? The point is to regain my confidence and focus on trading well. And for that, I'm actually proud of myself. I know it might sound ridiculous to some people, but please hear me out. Of course, I'm sad about the financial loss in my account, but I'm proud of the fact that I still stuck to my discipline after the fact. And I didn't balloon that loss into even bigger five-figure or six-figure losses. So if you're in a similar situation where you took a loss during the last few weeks because of the sector hype, you are not alone here. And you are definitely not the only one losing. But if after the bad loss, you can still fall back onto your rules and stay disciplined, then you deserve a pat on your shoulder. And just so you know that you will be okay. And at the same time, if you broke a lot of rules last week during the sector hype, and you still came out ahead and made money, I would be very cautious going forward. Because in the long run, breaking rules here and there and having these bad trading habits and trading poorly and still coming out ahead and making money, that could lead to the mother of all losses where one loss will wipe out the entire account. I'm only saying this as a cautionary tale because I've done that myself in the past where maybe I can get away with adding to a loser a couple of times and not respecting my stop and just, you know, let it see what happens. And a lot of times I've got away with it in the past where I either break even or even made some small gains on the trade. And yeah, we can probably be pretty lucky with it and get away once or twice. But what happens when that luck runs out? And the third time that happens, that's when I used to give back weeks or even months of profit. And if you followed your rules and still lost money, many people might disagree with this, but I think that's still a good trade. Because in the long run, planning your trades and trading your plan, it's what's gonna get you ahead in this game. And that brings us to the next point, is that everyone's wins and losses are gonna be relative, right? So let's say you're making $100 a day consistently, and during the last week, during the sector hype, you made $500 a day. That's amazing for your own performance and your share size. That's considered a big win. But for somebody using 10 times or 100 times your size, an average day could be a couple thousand dollars. So for their account size, a big win for them would be probably in the five figures. But at the same time, a small loss relative to their account will probably be a couple thousand dollars. But a big loss would be five figures or even six figures. The point I'm trying to make here is, don't compare your chapter 3 to someone else's chapter 20. Everyone's wins and losses, whether it's considered small or big, it's all relative to their normal share size and their account size. If you see someone else's big wins today and decide to double or quadruple your normal share size tomorrow in order to imitate the same kind of wins, that could lead to a lot of trouble. Like I said, after a big loss like this, I either size down or walk away way in order to keep my emotions in control. If you're curious about the exact trades and executions, then you can check out my recap video on that. So last Thursday, after closing out all my trades and come out with a realized loss that cost me entire week's profit, of course I was frustrated and I was sad, but at the same time I was very composed and I know exactly what I needed to do. And that was going out to eat a fat bowl of ramen. No joke, eating good food always helps with healing my soul. So I went to pick up my friend and I told her, hey, I just had a really bad day trading. I lost a lot of money. Can you pay for my ramen? And I'm so blessed to have friends as supportive as she is, where she looked at me straight in the eyes and said, no, go get a real job.
So eating good food with supportive friends definitely helps. But of course, we'll eat after we work out. My friend is also my pole fitness buddy where we go work out and bring on a sweat. It's kinda like the pain from working out can slowly replace that loss after losing money in trading. So that's personally how I recover from a very red week. I go work out and I eat my heart out. Everyone takes losses in trading whether we want to admit it or not. And we all have different process of recovering whatever you need to do in order to prevent yourself from trading on tilt. I hope everyone had a good week trading this crazy sector run. And if you made money, congratulations. Even if you just made $100 last week, you did a lot better than me. At the same time, as situations like this is where we need to keep our ego and confidence in check as well. And always reflect on your trading habit whether you made or lost money. Because a lot of times, the big losses come right after the big wins. Amazing job if you were able to take advantage of this crazy run and make some big money. But if you lost money trading last week, just know that you're definitely not alone. And I really hope that this reflection video I'm sharing about my big loss really help you out. I have a lot of fun making all of my YouTube videos in the past, but this is one for the first time. It's difficult and it's definitely not fun to make. But I also think it's a necessary video to make as part of my own personal recovery from that big loss. And I also think it could be very beneficial to put some reality check out there for other new traders. Thank you guys for watching as always. I'm the Humble Trader and I'll see you guys next week.